whenever they have like, whenever you can talk to your teacher and you have like a relationship with your teacher, that's what makes my teacher great. What te makes my teacher great is there's a lot of things, but one of them is just um, being there whenever I need her. The support they give us. She helps us learn and, and tells us kind directions and never to fight. What makes a teacher great to me is when they listen to me and if I ask for help, they really explain it to me and describe what I'm asking. Well, he's really kind and he's very outgoing with us. He likes to joke around and it makes the atmosphere very inviting and welcoming. When we watch PBS Kids, my teacher is great because she like lets us do science experiments and stuff like that. She um, would always like talk to us or she would always include fun activities when we like wanted it after like breaks and all that. Some of the next teacher grade is having under, to, be an under, to be able to understand their student and have a great relationship. Um, she's nice. Makes my teacher great is their personality. My teacher does like different activities with us and so we can interact and compete with our friends. He kind of is like goofs around, kind of just make a bond with you, you know, just to make everything fun, not make everything serious and boring. She usually tell us, tells us, and then so we have to fill out the list ourselves. Well, after we take air tests, um, we do like learn, learning, and then stations. And guess what? We filled up a kindness chart. Oh, anyway. I cracked my knuckles. I cracked my knuckles. Get me involved in classroom activities and not just handing me a paper. She makes learning fun because like, she lets us go on the laptops and like do stuff on the laptops. Um, he jokes around a bit. He'll, you know, make you laugh. He'll come and help you out sometimes. He won't make you feel like your question is wrong and he'll work it out with you. Um, she'll take our lessons and turn them into something we all like and something fun. Uh, sometimes iPads or going outside during class and doing some work outside or including a video with it and making it fun. Uh, she kind of makes all the tests into games. She, sometimes she lets us do it with a partner, which makes it even more fun. Sometimes we can draw on the back and sometimes we can draw on the front. sometimes tells me to come during our lunch and she'll help me out with um, what I'm, I don't understand. Well, um, so my teacher helps us by, maybe if we don't understand, she'll come over and help us like, um, like come over and kind of make it, make it understand in not so big words, kind of like shrink it down to more like tiny words. <laughs> Uh, he pushes us to, uh, to strive for our goals. He, um, he just, he's really there, there for us for, with our, uh, our school work. Oh, that's easy. Um, we do phonics. She makes, she helps us find things that we're supposed to find. And if they're stuck in our backpacks, we, we have to find it ourselves. But, Guess what? I have a collection of Nancy Drew books. You can't just hand me a paper. I have to, like I said, be involved. And I have to be taught personally and not just like to a class. My teacher, my math teacher let, lets us go on the computers and play like on the laptops for like STEM scopes and stuff like that. She'll give sometimes one-on-one -on -one attention when we need it in certain subjects, so. Patience and a positive attitude. 
and when we are good and on task, we move up to blue, and if we're better, we go up to pink, and then we get treasure chest. And also, um, that makes our teacher great. We, we go to recess when she tells us to, and she helps us get out of the building safety, safely when there's a fire drill. My, my reading teacher, she is like really nice and my science teacher, which is Miss Wilhite, she is really nice. She is like nice and responsible of our, of the, uh, my class pet, my class pet. If she's nice and um, if she's, um, if she's like fun, but at the same time she's like, like strict, so like she can, she can like have fun with us, but then she we can like get the work done and stuff. She helps us whenever we're down, like cheers us up. Maybe she'll tell us a joke, or even some little like um, maybe we'll ask, can we sharpen our pencil? She'll be like, oh, I can go do that for you, and she'll grab our pencil and go sharpen it. Or um, it's just like. She's a great teacher, so. Um, caring about what your students think, um, being kind to them, and paying attention to what's going on. Being able to be, be kind, uh, be open to anything that the student has to say or think, and uh, just be friendly. Mindful, respectful. I mean, just a support. Uh, just the effort to put hours into us and just being there. She helps people. She makes people not be sad. My favorite subject is science because I've always had, like, I want to be a surgeon and my dream is to like go in the medical field. My favorite subject in school is math because you can do it, you can do math really quickly and it doesn't, it isn't as time consuming as the other things. I actually have two. My favorite subjects are science and math and I would just say I love to discover things, I love to work things out, problem solve, and it's just what I love to do. Like play, yeah. My thing is usually playing. It's like sometimes play on the carpet, but not that many times. My favorite subject is math, just because you don't have to like memorize anything and you can just do it and it's pretty easy. Science, because I like, I like learning about what's going on and everything around me. When it's snack time. Why? Because we get to eat. Um, so my favorite subject at school is science, music, and PE. My favorite subject, I'm gonna say uh, it's gonna be English. I like I like reading, uh, just like just imaginary the stories in your head. Recess, math, and lunch. I would not make them feel like any question is a wrong question. I would make sure that they feel like they can talk to me about absolutely anything. And if they need help with any work, I will be there for them always. I would help students in high school and Sterling. Okay. And also England. To help students learn, like, like I said, I probably, um, I probably do like different activities with them. That way they could, you know, be engaged in what they're learning about and they'll want to like study to compete with their friends and we may give out like prizes to um, make learning more fun. Um, I would help my students by maybe uh, giving them maybe some time to kind of let out, like maybe giving them some free time whenever we finish all their stuff before it's time to go. Maybe letting them get on the iPads a little bit and play so they can kind of have some free time before we have to go and go home and then do our homework and 
maybe have the struggles at home that we're doing, just kind of let everything chill down. Get them involved in activities and not just handing them paper in, like, you should know this. Like, get them involved, teach them, and help them learn. When they ask me something that, when they got you in blood or not, if, they, if I was teaching a kid and they, would just, and they just needed to ask me something and they were in gushing blood, I wouldn't answer them because they would have ignored me. So, but if they were, I would, I would just stop and I would have listened to them. Uh, I'd probably build a relationship with them, be able to, uh, to talk to them and, and see what's going on. I would help my students, like, I'd let them go on the laptops for things, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would include definitely, like, group activities instead of just being by ourselves and making us just do a worksheet. I help somebody not get bullied and not get sad or not get mad. Thank you so much for teaching me what you have taught me, and I'll, I'll carry that on my whole life. Thank you for letting us have fun. I'd say like thank you for <laughs> teaching me how to do stuff like math, and reading, and science. I'll say thank you for helping me uh, strive for my goals and uh, be able to go through high school. I would say thank you for not just making me feel like I'm part of a class, just making me feel like I'm part of a family. Thanks for all your help, and, and I, I would speak Spanish and help kids speak Spanish if they want to learn Spanish and Mandarin. I would say maybe just thank you for not only teaching me, but also being there whenever, like, if I'm going through, like, drama or something, I, I can, like, trust that teacher to tell them and um, just being a great teacher. Thank you for helping me. Um, I would say thank you for what you've done. Whenever I'm down, you would um, cheer me up, maybe tell me a joke again, or um, just thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for helping me being there when it was rough and helping me learn more about the subject.